Hey guys, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. Hope you're having a great day. What's your summer day or summer night? Drop a comment down below. For my Sundays for the House of Mind games, this fragrance is Kaiser. This is an amazing scent. This has white gardenia and yang yang. It's a very nice, fresh, clean, slightly floral fragrance. There's really some sweetness in the dry down. Definitely a gourmand feel, but it's a fresh fragrance that you can wear all year round. This is one of my friend Jerome likes as well. So definitely check out mind games fragrances today's a special day my sales show should have their shout to have their works at Nima and marcus i'll leave her information down below she said they have the new mind game fragrances out i think she said they have testers or whatever so i'm going to go there and check out 10 more of the mind game fragrance so i tried the first 10 out they smell amazing everyone isn't my favorite but to each his own they have 10 more new ones out and they only have two notes on the bottle label and the name of the fragrance but apparently there's probably more notes in it but we're going to go there. I'm going to spray them with my skin and let you know which ones I like and which ones I don't. If you're a fan of my game fragrances, what are your favorites? Drop your list down below. And if you like this type of content, please show your support by clicking that red subscribe button down below. Let's go. Okay, guys, I just got back from Neiman Marcus. So shout out to the sales associate, Heather. She's an amazing woman. She helped me with a lot of fragrances that I want to buy and definitely helped me up with samples if I didn't want to try it before I buy it. So thank you to Heather. She's an amazing sales associate. I'll leave her information down below if you want to try any mind game fragrances, whether it's the new ones or the old ones, any niche designer fragrances that are sold at Neiman Marcus. Definitely reach out to her. Tell her you saw this video and she'll take care of you. I smelled all 10. There are six of them that I really like a lot and I'm gonna give you my description of them. I sprayed five of them on my skin here, and the other one I didn't spray, I sprayed on a test strip. I ran out of room on my skin. I don't have enough room, right? <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you how these smell, and if you guys should definitely check this out if you like them at the end of the day. I like them, you may like them as well, but definitely check them out. There's a Mind Game event coming, I think it's August 22nd. That's when they're gonna reveal the bottles and stuff like that. So hopefully I'll be able to attend that event and I'll make a video about it, if not, when the bottles are available, I will go back there and video the bottles and tell you if they smell any different from the actual travel sprays that came out first. Since defense, this is cherry and amber. So I have it here. This one here, it's definitely you're getting this cherry and you're getting an amber feel, right? So it only lists two notes and it's definitely a sweet fragrance. It's not overly sweet, but it's a nice bit of cherry and amber mixed blend very well. It's not a heavy, thick cherry fragrance like Tom Ford um, Lost Cherry. It's not a heavy cherry like Guerlain Cherry Oud. It's a nice subtle cherryness in the fragrance and a nice bit of amber touch. It's a phenomenal, beautiful scent. If you like Gourmand fragrances, you're gonna love this one. It's not too heavy, not too in your face, but you're gonna like the way this one smells. If you like a cherry and amber combo, it's beautiful. Guys, you gotta check this out. San Vor, this one here is a rose and Palo Santo fragrance. The rose in this opening is gorgeous. A beautiful, nice bit of rose, like a ro uh, rose petals, very nicely put. A slight bit of freshness in it, a nice bit of sweetness as well. Definitely picking up some woodiness in the fragrance. The Palo Santo Zones is so beautiful, and it's just, it's really a great fragrance. And I don't have a lot of fragrances with the note of Palo Santo. It's kind of like a new note to me in fragrances, but it's a gorgeous fragrance. You really need to check out that one. If you like rose kind of fragrances, you're going to love this one. 
forward. That's the name of the fragrance. It has pimento, and we have salt. So the pimento is a very different note that I've experienced in fragrances. The pimento, and we have the saltiness. And pimento is the same note that we have in um, Mind Games, the first fragrance, and that is from uh, Jadoop as well. Not the same fragrance, but you kind of get that pimento feel. And you're getting this saltiness, kind of like the sea saltiness, summer type of fragrance. And it's really good, guys. I, I didn't think I would like this one at first. And I actually put it on my skin, and it developed very well on my skin. All these fragrances are still on my skin now. It's been almost, uh, I went to the mall around one, one-ish, and it's still on my skin now, seven hours later. So, definitely, it's in that sea saltiness very freshness about the fragrance you kind of that saltiness kind of like a sea saltiness and i really do like this one from the house this is one that i'm really considering getting a bottle i'm going to test it out a few more times and see if it lasts on the skin because i only did a one day i only did two sprays of each fragrance i didn't want to empty out the little travel sprays but it does smell good number three is gambit so gambit is a real good one. I really thought I liked this one before I even smelled them. This one here has notes of pedigree and patchouli. So I like both those notes. Patchouli is a great fragrance note. I like it. Sometimes it's very green, very earthy, very herbal. And I do like the pedigree. The pedigree kind of gives it like it's it gives it a freshness about it. It's very nice, easy fragrance to wear with that type of note. And that one I really do like. I hate to have it. It's on, yes, it's on my skin here. I have Gambit right here. So Gambit, you do get some incense and some patchouli in this one here. Now that freshness has calmed down some from the pedigree, but now I'm getting more patchouli, more greenness, incense in the dry down. And I do like it. I think that one will give like an 8 out of 10 from first impression on my skin. I really do like it. Second, least to my favorite, is Queening. So that's Q-U-E-E-N-I-N-G, right? This one is Oris slash Vanilla. So basically, Oris kind of that slightly iris like that no if you like oris iris so basically this one here i have here right this one is very creamy like so you're getting uh a slightly powderiness in it but it's not like makeup -y powder i wouldn't call it a do or own or um a product maybe slightly powder powder loam slightly kind of feel to it and the vanilla is so beautiful like even in a dry down i'm getting like the vanilla ice cream feel but that opening with the oris and vanilla it's amazing as soon as you spray on the test, you'll be like, I want it. I want to buy this fragrance. Like, that's how in-depth and how amazing it was. Then I sprayed on my skin. I was like, whoo. It was it was that beautiful, guys. I This one, I know Kelly will like it as well because those notes are great. You're getting this aura slash Irish and you're getting vanilla. It's a beautiful scent, guys. I literally can't sit out in bed about these fragrances. They're great. On my skin, they smell great. And I'm not, I'm not trying to help up the brand. I have four bottles of the original, so I wouldn't think they would get worse i would think they would get better and better and that's what they did with these new 10 right here now let's talk about my number one favorite and it's a uh, vert is v-i-e-r-i -E this one here has notes of citron and we have musk this comes in a white bottle whoo guys this is what i have on my skin here the opening burst of that citron is very refreshing citrus in your face it's a beautiful freshness in the opening and it does last for a little bit on the skin with that freshness towards the dry down but the musk comes alive maybe after that first 20 25 minutes on your skin that freshness is there then the musk comes in more in the front so the citrus is fall back a little bit and then that musk covers the top of it and muskiness through the life of the fragrance and this one i do like it it's in that realm of fresh fragrances um, the only downside I see this one is when I do wear it, I get similarities to another one from the House of Mind Games, and that's Blockade. So if you like Blockade, right, and maybe you want a little bit more of a musky feel in the fragrance, more of a masculine scent, I would go with Vert by the new Mind Games, or second uh, collection of fragrances, because I feel like the first one kind of Creed Aventus-ish vibe. This one here... I would say it kind of has more of just a blockade feel. It doesn't have that Aventus Aventus feel. Um, I would mind. It's better minus the the mango. You're getting that fresh citron citrus with the muskiness, so you don't get the mango. So it's more of a fresh fragrance. I like it a lot. Still on my skin, but it's close to the skin. I feel like this one you might get maybe six seven hours. I definitely gotta wear it some more. I did two sprays of all the fragrances I test out five of them on my skin.
But this one here is very beautiful, guys. They all smell great. I'm excited to go to the event very soon and try my own skin some more from the full bottles and report to you guys showing you the new bottles, the presentation. And I'll probably buy one maybe at the event. I'm not sure if I want to get Vert or get Queen or I'll get Game, but those are my three favorite ones by far. Those are great signature scents, and I think you guys will love the new ones. If you love the originals, you're going to 10 times love these ones. They're straight fire. Definitely check out the Mind Game fragrances. If you haven't tried any of them, try out the first Mind Game fragrances, then try out the second one. These are going to be bangers this year, guys. And for the fall and winter time, you definitely need to go with Queen, and you definitely need to go with uh, uh, French Defense. That's a cherry and amber. Those are going to be your fall and winter bangers. Thank you guys for watching. If you like these type of videos and haven't subscribed yet, uh, please sure to support us absolutely free by clicking that red subscribe button down below. Give me a like, like the content. Don't forget to click the bell icon to miss any future content or giveaway announcements on my channel. Be safe, everyone, and I hope I see you in my next video very soon. Peace.